Hello and welcome back to another SQL tutorial. This is video number 15 of the series to learn SQL. It is very important that you follow all videos in order if you really want to benefit from these videos. All videos are available from this website here and they're also available on YouTube. Remember you have to watch all videos in order. Now SQL offers several restrictions to control what data can or cannot be entered in a column. This is to maintain data integrity and reduce da data redundancy. And there are a number of constraints that you should know about. In previous videos we learned how to apply two constraints, primary key and not null on columns. Today we will learn about a third constraint which is known as foreign key. SQL deals with relational databases. A relational database decreases data redundancy with the help of relationships between tables. And this is the reason a relational database has the word relational associated with it. Relationships link data in one table to the data in other table or tables. When needed, data from two or more tables can be retrieved in such a way as if there was only one table without having to store data twice or several times. These relationships between tables are created with the help of foreign key. A foreign key is also known as a referential constraint. It references other table or tables unless there is a recursive relationship which we will explore later. So this is the table EMP table employee table that we created earlier. One, two, three, four, five, six columns. Uh, and each row has or describes attributes of an employee. Employee number which is our primary key and the unique identifier for each employee. Last name, first name, hire date, salary and commission if they earned some commission. Say for example this small company has two departments only accounts and sales and we want to record department name as well with the name of the employee. So one way is to add two columns or at least one column in this table and add department name in each row and this is but this is very wrong for all technical reasons you can see department number is entered uh, ten, department number 10 is entered four times here department number 20 is entered twice here say for example this company had two departments and 2000 employees so you'll have to enter this data several times so this is against the rule of relational databases it will increase data redundancy another way is to create two tables employee table and department table notice in this table which is department table department sales is entered once only and the department account is entered once only you may have four or five maybe ten departments in a company but you can have thousand employees in a company and link this table with this table we can create just one single co column that is common in both tables department number is common in both tables and with the help of this column we can link these two tables without having to store data several times and we can use SQL to pull data from two tables and the data would look like this. So we'll see how it is done. This is done with the help of a foreign key. Let me go back to previous slide. Now we have modified this table, employee table, to have department number in it. And we have created another table with the name of department DEPT. We have created a foreign key. This is the primary key 
for this table. This primary key has become a foreign key for this table here. So every time you insert data into this table, it will reference this department number. And if it cannot find, say for example, you are inserting data into this table and you insert department number 30, it will reference this table here. And if the department number 30 is not found, your insert statement would fail. So this has become a reference key. This primary key has become a reference or foreign key for this table. We'll see how it is done.